So let's check and see if the GPS data confirms our suspicions that there's something interesting going on that we already saw in the seismic and the tilt data. Okay, so I'm going to select GPS here. And the first thing I'm going to do is set a baseline with this station MKPM. MKPM is a station that's a little farther away from the rest of the network stations and the point of setting this as a baseline is to zero out the effects of plate tectonic motion and background stuff like that. That motion is interesting, but it's not what we're trying to look for here. All right, so the actual station I want to look at is this PUOC station because that one is the closest one to the tilt meter that we looked at before. I'm going to leave the start and end time the same. So clicking submit gives me this plot right here. Um, and so this is the baseline station subtracted from the station of interest. And this is a three panel plot with time on the x-axis of all of them and then meters um, on the y-axis. So the three components of the station are east, north, and up, and those are referenced to some arbitrary benchmark somewhere else. So one thing you can see right away from the GPS data is that it's only recorded once a day. So you're not going to get anything like the fine scale wiggles and bumps, remember, that we got here in the, in the tilt data and the seismic data where we were like saying, oh, look, here's a little peak, and oh, here's this, you know. All you can do is get kind of a general sense of like, you know, was there motion within reason or not. Um, so what we're looking for is something that happened, you know, for between the 18th and the 19th. And I guess I could convince myself that there's something going on between this dot and this other dot here. There's certainly not zero motion. So, eh, I'd say the GPS data is not inconsistent with the event that we found. And okay, so we found an inflation-deflation event. Cool.